What is going on? My name is Mike. This is all about pressure washing. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you how many jobs I got with 5,000 direct mail postcards. And if you've watched any of my videos on marketing, you know that I'm a firm believer in having a wide variety of different marketing methods in place at all times because that diversity increases your opportunity to increase your lead flow. And we all know that lead flow equals cash flow. And without leads coming in, things are going to get pretty tough for your business. So we've always done postcards, okay? Distributing them in a number of different ways over the years primarily hand delivering them, utilizing both high school and college kids, as well as doing our typical five arounds at every property that our technician service. We've always had really good results because if you have a good postcard, something that is hitting on the key points that you're trying to relay to your customer, touching their pain points, hitting them with a call to action, using the right combination of color and pictures and copy, then you're going to see a great return on your investment. And obviously, once those leads start to come in, it's going to be on you to manage those customers. You're going to have to be able to give them estimates quickly. You're going to have to quote jobs, and there's no better way to do that than with our brand new app, Quote IQ. Not only is this a great CRM, but it gives you the ability to do so much more from the palm of your hand. Remote quoting, in-person quoting, sending estimates, sending invoices, getting paid through the app directly to your bank account. This thing is a game changer, and we are so proud of it. There is a link below. It's on the App Store. It's on the Google Play Store. So we really look forward to hearing all of your feedback. Because we want to know what you want. We want to know what else the app needs. This is not just our app, it's your app. And we're constantly looking for it to evolve. So we look forward to hearing your feedback. Check out Quote IQ. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to tell you how many jobs we got from a 5,000 postcard run. We use a company down in Florida called Postcard Mania. Now, they handle the mailing list, they handle the printing, they handle the design work, they do a really good job. I put a link for their website down below if you want to get in contact with them. They're also giving away a thousand free postcards with your first order. So I decided to get back into the direct mailing game because I wanted to have absolute control on a grand scale. Uh, when we were hand delivering them, even when I you know, picked specific neighborhoods, picked specific streets, I couldn't pick out the exact demographics that I wanted. Household incomes, renter versus homeowners, all the things that come into play when you're trying to target your ideal customer. And I was able to refine the broadcast, if you will, of our postcards to a very specific customer base, which is absolutely key. So when I decided to move forward with this, I committed to 20,000 postcards, 5,000 at a time. And there is a very specific reason why I chose this because repetition is key. Without that repetition, staying in front of your customers, without giving them the comfort level that you're a legitimate, strong business that has the means to continually market your business, which builds confidence. It's just like Google reviews. The more reviews you have, the more credible you look, the more trust a potential customer has in your company. And that's why marketing is a numbers game. You have to not only have multiple marketing strategies in place at all times, but you need to be consistent and relentless with them. Obviously tracking your data, knowing what works for your business, understanding the ROI on all of these is unbelievably important because you want to be spending your money where it's making you the most money. So it could be postcards, it could be Facebook ads, it could be Google ads, it could be bandit signs, but you'll never know unless you track your data. You follow up, you ask the questions, where did you hear about us? You always have to do this. That is essential. Know where your customers are coming from. And there are a bunch of other ways that you can track this, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But being relentless, staying in front of the customer is so important. So that's why I chose to do four rounds of mailings, 5,000 postcards in each mailing to the exact same customer base every single time. So we just finished up the third round of cards, and there was a pause in between each, different designs, different offerings, which allows us to track a little bit better, a little bit closer. Um, on this last round, the QR code we we're using was specific to that card, which obviously gives us the ability to track with great detail from those leads that are coming in. So we had a landing page uh, and we see the numbers, which allows us to be able to not only track how the cards are performing, but how much money we generated from those cards. Now calls coming in are great. That's telling me that the postcards are working. Then it becomes my job to close those potential leads. Now we all know that close rates are not always going to be ridiculously high. Somewhere around 35 to 40% is pretty damn good. And typical ROI on direct mail is usually around two to four percent somewhere around there so basically what that means is uh, you can expect to get one to two purchases or one to two closes uh, per hundred postcards that you send out. So then it comes back to what is your pricing look like? What does your average ticket look like? How good you are at selling or upselling because all of these things come into play about how much is generated 
with each mailing. So with our last campaign, we had 467 hits on our landing page that was connected to the postcards QR code. Now there is some uncertainty in regards to the actual numbers because we do have all of our branding on there, our phone number and our website on the postcards. And some people just get online. They forego the QR code scan or they just go directly to the website or they call the phone number or it could just be a repeat customer who's reminded when they saw the card to give us a call. So there is some margin of error. They're not 100% accurate. My numbers aren't at least, but I'm really comfortable with them because again, this isn't brain surgery. We're not trying to save the world. We're just trying to clean a bunch of stuff for a bunch of people and make a bunch of money. So don't overcomplicate things. It's important to know your numbers, but don't get so involved in the numbers that you're not seeing everything else. So of all the people that hit the landing page, we got contact information from about half of them. And we were able to close about 30% of those with the first contact, which doesn't mean that there might not be more jobs trickling in that receive quotes that might have just put the postcard to the side. But all of those people are now entered into our database. And of course, we're going to continue to utilize that contact information to continue to market to them. So it's really twofold. Not only did we close a decent amount of jobs based on our mailing, but we were also able to collect customer data for our marketing, which is really invaluable. These are warm leads, which means that they had some interest in our service and they might not be ready right now. The price may be too high for them. Maybe they've got other stuff going on. It was bad timing, or they just had someone clean their stuff and they're not ready at this point. We're going to hit them again and again and again, and hopefully we're going to convert them to a paying customer. So I know the big question everybody is thinking how much money do you guys generate from those 5,000 postcards and as you guys know I hate to talk dollars and cents on the channel because there are so many things that come into play and ultimately this is my business nobody else's so I'm not going to share that stuff but I assure you that the ROI was in our favor the leads generated the money made paid for the 5,000 postcards that were mailed that's a no-brainer and if you think about it you do a little math our minimum price for any service is $250, but most of our customers average ticket is almost double that because of upselling, because of adding on other services. So the bottom line, postcards work. Find somebody that does a great job for you, trust in them, lean on the fact that they've got tons of experience, the right tools to get the job done. Just like you and your business, your customers rely on you and it's okay to rely on other people. Postcard Mania does a great job for us. Like I said, there's a link below. You can get their contact information. They've got that deal on a thousand free postcards. And also do not sleep on Quote IQ. Definitely check that out, download it. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.